Right. Welcome back to Savannah Techie. I'm your host, Rafael Nwiga. If you're new to the channel, uh, kindly hit the subscribe button uh, and share with your peers. Now, in this particular video, we're going to be adding PowerShell to the context menu. What do I mean? That uh, now a context menu is the menu that you get when you right click or uh, anywhere on your window. So the, the menu that pops up to you right click, this is what you call the this is what you call the context menu. So I want to be able to right click anywhere on any on any uh, folder or directory and launch PowerShell from there. So to do that, uh, you need to modify your regist your your Windows registry. So how do we get to the registry? So how to get the registry? You can um, hit the Windows key and then type uh, reg edit. Okay, hit enter. Then say yes, and it will open registry edit editor. Or the other way you can do is on your keyboard you hit uh, the you you press and hold the Windows key and then uh, letter R. And then you can just type uh, red edit and then hit enter. So if you run that particular command, just to open it. Once you are here, I navigate to you have. The first thing you do, you back up your registry. Okay, so you can right click on the computer and then export. So the export is basically you're doing there, you want to, to do the backup. So I can say and then choose where you want the backup to be installed to, to be saved. So I can say just want it to be saved on my desktop and then say call it uh, reg backup. Okay, hit enter, and when you do. You can see here the the backup file being being created. So you can see my my cursor as as currently turned assigned to a spinner, showing you that it's currently working. So it's currently uh, exporting all the or the all the registry keys. Now the beauty about exporting the the registry key is because if you modify something and it messes up with how your machine function. Then you can always come back and and uh, and import. So when you do the importation, you can be able to uh, to restore your registry to the value they were before you before you did the modification. So since it has finished the export process, so what I will do is that now I'll come here under uh, HK classes, I will expand, I'll expand it. And then I'll look for a folder directory. So I'll scroll down and past it. A directory is somewhere here. Dr directory. Here we go. And then under directory, I'll expand it. And then I will expand on the background. Okay. And then on shell, I'll also expand. The shell folder there and what i'll do i'll right click and then say new new key so new key i'll call the new key power shell menu hit enter and then unselect it i'll change the default here and say opening PowerShell. you can call you can call the the you can you can give it any name so for example just say uh open in powershell okay then i hit enter and then i'll also I'll then right click the powershell menu okay and then i'll say new uh new key okay and then i'll just call it command since that i want it to run a command on the command, when you select the command, I'll double click the word default, okay, and enter the command that I want. Uh, I want the contacts main to run whenever I click on the value we created that open in PowerShell. So I have the command ready here. So 
this command basically it goes it looks for powershell under this directory okay so i can show you where it is so i can just come on my pc and then i go to local disk c then windows then i look for a folder by the name system32 here it is and then i will look for a folder named uh, win powershell so scroll down win powershell okay you can see the version of powershell version uh, 1.0 uh, double click it to open and this is the command that uh, we want to be run from the context menu so this command is similar to what you'll do um, on windows and just type powershell to launch powershell so you can you can launch powershell that way okay but i want to right click excuse me i want to right click uh on any folder or anywhere and be able to run powershell from there so now what i will do is um i'll copy this okay i'll copy that and then i'll go back to the registry and then paste it there okay then the next thing i will do is that i will right click the powershell sorry so i'll right click here powershell and then permissions so i want to give permission who can run who can run a particular command so all application i'll just tick to allow it full control creator i'll also tick to allow full control uh system is already enabled administrator is already enabled and then users, I want to give any users I, I add ability to run uh, to run the PowerShell from uh, from the context menu. Once I do that, and I click apply, then I click OK. OK. Then when I go back to any directory, and I right click, I should have open in PowerShell. So if I click open in PowerShell, it will now launch the PowerShell. So we'll be using PowerShell. Uh, when I'm, whenever I'm Windows, I'll be using PowerShell to run commands, uh, uh, whether it's dealing with the background or anything else. So you can see it has already opened um, PowerShell in the directory of a uh, directory named Pictures. The other way to get to Pictures that you normally do is to open PowerShell from the menu, PowerShell, hit Enter, and then I will do so you can see the com the way it is it is and that and um the, the home directory of Zeus. So if I issue the command pwd present working directory, this is where it opens. So I need to go to pictures, I'll do cd, then pictures, and you can see it landed me the same. The same same place of pictures uh same same path like uh we did when you opened it on that specific directory that's all for now see you in the next video if you have not yet subscribed kindly give me a support by hitting the subscribe button i will have uh this i will have this command uh on the on the description in the description below and also I'll have it on a, on a on a link on a word document that you can people just to if you are not comfortable copying the command from uh, from the description you can also co uh, copy it from the uh, uh from the from the link that I will have shared thank you and see you in my next video